Today, I'm going to share with you all the ways that you can collect cash flow from your stocks. And at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a trade that actually went bad so you can see how even when a situation goes bad with options, you can still continue to collect cash flow. Let's get started. I am Randy Perez. I'm a 21 plus year real estate investor as well as stock and option trader. And when I trade options, I usually trade them in dividend stocks. Today, I'm excited to share with you how you can generate awesome cash flow from stocks. I'm going to show you my real life examples over the past few weeks of how I've collected great cash flow from stocks either I want to own or stocks that I already own using all of these techniques. You're going to see that it's not difficult to turn your stocks into ATM machines that put cash in your pocket every month, every week, even every day. The first way to get cash flow from your stocks is by using dividends. In my smaller Roth retirement account, last month alone, we received dividends from 10 different companies. That's 10 times we were paid that month by receiving dividends in these companies that we own, good, stable, solid companies. Now, that's a smaller account that I have. In my larger main trading account, we don't have quite as many positions yet. We're still working into positions. We're selling puts to get into these positions. We have eight positions right now that we already own the stock and about 32 that we don't own the stock yet. We're waiting on the puts to get assigned to us. But in this larger account, we have received $354 in the month of May from ABV, ticker symbol ABBV. Now we expect to be receiving from Genuine Parts Company, ticker symbol GPC. They're going to pay us 79 cents per share on July the 1st, 3M will be paying us $1.47 per share here in just a couple of days on June the 12th. And today we should be receiving 87 cents per share from ExxonMobil. So you can see that we're receiving even nice dividends in this account, but we don't have a fully built up portfolio yet. We're still building this portfolio by selling our second way to make cash flow, which is put options. You can make big money in put options. And just the first eight days of this month, we have already collected over $4,000 by selling put options in stocks that we want to own. Many of those were positions that we had sold last month. Positions are now worthless. The options we sold are getting close to worthless, 10, 15, 20, 25 cents. We bought those back and sold new options that yielded some nice returns. So we've already collected $4,512 by selling options. Now a little bit of that was call options, but the rest of it, the majority of it, well over $4,000, all came from selling put options. Now you can sell these put options on a weekly, monthly, bi-monthly, quarterly, six months, 12 months, even up to 24 months. I typically choose to sell them in one, two, or three month timeframes. But if you don't wanna deal with the headache of having to roll these every month, then you may wanna choose a longer time frame. The returns aren't quite as good as if you did a 30, 60, or 90 day option, but it also saves you a lot of time if you don't like to do this like I do. It's almost like a hobby, even though it makes me a great living. In fact, there are actually several that I'm trading quarterly right now. You'll see one here on the screen, ticker symbol LAZ Lazard. This is a position that I want to get into and finish off my position. I already own some stock in this. Some of the puts were assigned to me. And to finish off my full position, I'll need to get assigned the rest of these. But until these options are assigned, I'm going to keep rolling them for nice returns. I recently rolled the Lazard puts into September, September $37 put strike price. And the reason is that the premiums weren't that good for the 30 or 60 day options. And so I rolled a longer time frame in order to get a nice juicier premium that would match the returns that I target by selling put options. This is the kind of content that you like that you can get benefit from. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. That way you get a notice every time we produce a video. I'll be producing a video here in the next few days describing all my trades over the past week and a half. I think you'll really enjoy seeing that. The third way to collect cash flow from your stocks is by selling call options. And we've done that once early this month. We had some call options that we had sold and they were becoming worthless. So we bought those back and rolled them into a new position. And by doing that, we received $258 net cash flow in our pocket here on ticker symbol ABBV ABV. Now over the next few weeks, we're gonna be rolling multiple positions. A lot of our options for June expire on the third Friday. And so we expect those to be expiring worthless or we'll buy them back when they get down to 10, 15, 20 cents uh, left in time premium, and we'll roll them into the next month. So you'll be seeing in future videos how I roll these call options that we have on these positions in our account that will be expiring here in about a week and a half to two weeks. And again, with these call options, if you don't wanna trade them monthly like I do, you can always trade them quarterly. 
or even every six months or even every year or two. So it's really up to you. How much time and effort do you want to put into it? And finally, I don't want to really call this a fourth way, even though to me it is, is to combine all of these. Sell put options until you own the stocks. Once you own them, begin to collect dividends, begin to sell call options. When you combine all of these together, the cash flow can be tremendous. It can be awesome. I know it's been awesome for me, and I know it can be awesome for you if you take advantage of these techniques and strategies. Well, what happens when these option trades don't go according to plan? Things don't work out the way we hoped that they would. Well, I'm going to show you an example here of a stock that I've been trading for a year and a half where it didn't quite go according to plan. If you're selling options, you generally want to stay around the option price that you're selling. You don't want to bounce around a lot. Then once it's put into your account, well, then you kind of want the stock to have a slow, steady incline, or maybe even stay where it's at so you can continue to sell those call options and collect those dividends. Whereas you can see here, this stock I've been trading for about a year and a half, you see that we begin to sell put options at the $72.5 strike. You see, each line here shows the date where we sold the put option, and then either where we bought it back and sold a new option the next month, or where we let it expire worthless. And then on July 16th, we're actually assigned 300 shares of AbbVie into our account at $75 per share. Immediately, we began collecting dividends, but we also began to sell call options, and we've done that ever since. We started out by selling the $70 call option, and now we've actually rolled it up to $72.5. Now, this stock has gone way up. It's now up to $94.60 at the time of filming this video. So I fully intend to continue to roll this strike price up. In fact, over the next three to six months, I want to get it up to $75, and if the stock continues to look strong, then I want to get it up even higher. And I can do that every time by collecting premium in the stock by rolling those options if I time it right and if I do it right. Now, generally, I have to roll it into a three-month option. To be able to move the strike price up $2.50, I'll need to sell an option that goes out about three months, which is generally what I do in order to roll a position up. You can see the results of selling these options and collecting these dividends. On this stock here, and this is just one of many that I trade over the past year and a half, by collecting put option premium, dividends, and call option premium, We've actually lowered our cost basis to $59.46. And this is a stock that's currently trading at $94.60. So at this pace, this stock will have paid for itself by receiving cash flow from the stock in less than five years. In fact, it's 4.8 years, according to the same pace we've been on for the past year and a half. In 4.8 years, this stock will have paid for itself. How's that for cash flow on your stocks? I wanted to share this example with you because it's a stock that really moved around a lot. It really didn't turn out the way I hoped it would, but you can see that even though a stock doesn't trade the way you hope, it can still be a very profitable trade. As you can see on the chart, the stock shot down, then way up, then way back down, then way back up, and it wiggled a little bit. But in spite of all of this, by selling options and collecting dividends, we've been able to generate tremendous cash flow on this stock, even when things haven't turned out the way we had hoped that they would. And this is just one of many examples of the stocks that I'm currently trading. If you check out the video link here on the screen above, you can see all the trades that we did last month. The cash flow we received in the entire month, as well as all the trades that produced those cash flows, and also a dividend or two that we collected in that portfolio. I hope this video has helped you to see the kind of cash flow you can receive on your stocks by selling put options, by collecting dividends on them once you own them and selling call options once you own them. These three strategies combined can generate massive cash flow for your portfolio. Cash flow that you can spend, that you can reinvest, that you can do whatever you want with. It's real cash in your pocket on these companies that you own. If you found value in this video, please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. You don't want to miss the next video I'm producing right now. I'm working on it now. It'll be out in the next couple of days. It describes all the trades I've done over the past week and a half. It talks to the strike prices how much profit and loss we saw from them, the cash flow they generated, all the details on the company, I think you're really going to enjoy that video. And please remember to do your own research. If you don't feel comfortable enough to make the decisions on your own, hire a financial advisor. I'm not a trained financial advisor. I'm simply sharing my journey. I'm giving you information on my trades that I've experienced myself. So please do your own research. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.